The ASME B30 standards provides general guidance to us on the training of riggers. The employer has the responsibilities of determining the personal competence of the individuals. To get slightly more specific guidance, we use the American Society of Safety Professional Standards, the A10 series, specifically the A1042, the safety requirements for rigor responsibilities and qualifications, to provide as additional instruction on what the employers must do to qualify their rigors. Now, in simple terms, there has to be training. Now, the training has to be specific to the types of equipment being used. The individuals that have to be trained include supervisors, lift directors, and the people doing the actual rigging. The planning for lifts have to be done by a qualified rigger. And part of the general responsibilities and training of the qualified rigger include the ability to communicate, the ability to do math, and a demonstration of skills and knowledge pertaining to the types of rigging being used. Now, there's a broad category of topics and items that a person has to be trained on, but the employer gets to select from this list of topics the type of equipment that the rigger is actually going to be using and will be training the rigger for this equipment. So the training underneath the A1042 is specific to the employer and the type of operation and equipment that the rigger is rigging. Now, part of the reason why we're utilizing the A1042 standards is we are awaiting revisions to the B30 standards. They have captured rigor responsibilities in numerous versions, and our expectation is, besides listing the responsibilities of riggers, they're actually going to list the qualification requirements of the riggers within the B30 standards. The expectation is that it's going to come out first in the B30.5 and the B30.5's next revision.